Our next question from our hashtag Dear Celestron is a great, great question. It is, which telescope would be perfect for me as a beginner? Well, that's a tough question to answer because you're saying, which one is perfect for me as a beginner? Well, any telescope would be the easy answer. But the real thing we want to get into here is, what is it you hope to achieve? And are those goals realistic to the equipment that you're going to purchase? Uh, you got to think about that. We can get into a Power Seeker series telescope, generally under a couple hundred dollars, but they're completely manual. Um, you have to find objects yourself. Um, but that's a great way to start. There's something really uh, satisfying about taking a telescope outside. You did your homework, your research on what object you wanted to find, and you positioned your telescope, and those photons of that object are coming through your telescope that you set up, going to your eye, and you're looking at it, and you get to go in and tell your friends and family, hey, come look at this object that you found. Uh, that, that's enormously satisfying. And you can do that for under a couple hundred dollars, I would say, the Power Seeker series, the Astromaster series. But let's get back to those goals again. If you came in and said, well, I want a beginner telescope that I can hook up my digital SLR camera to and take nighttime shots, but I have a budget of $80. Well, you know, you could buy that $80 telescope and try to hang a two and a half pound uh, camera off the back of it, and you're gonna get pretty bad results. Uh, so let's make sure that those goals are realistic. So after the Power Seeker and the Astromaster series, um, I tell everyone, then take a look at the Inspire series. This is a great manual telescope, very budget friendly. But after the manual telescopes, then we get into the computerized telescopes. And that's where Celestron's technology really shines. So if the budget is there, I tell everybody, look at the Nexstar SE series. Uh, they come in a 4-inch all the way up to an 8-inch. And I tell everyone, buy the biggest SE series model you can afford because these are amazing telescopes, completely automated, automatic tracking, automatic locating. Uh, they're really incredible. But for 2020, uh, what I'm really excited about now is, especially for the price point that you can get into these, is the new StarSense Explorer. There's one here in my office. Uh, these things... Are, they're absolutely incredible. You actually connect your phone uh, onto the telescope and it will guide you to objects in the night sky. And uh, the prices for these are you know, under $500. So think about the goals that you have for astronomy, the budget you have to work with, and are those goals matching up? Um, there'd be no reason I would tell anybody to not get into astronomy because I... I don't have a large budget. Uh, one of my favorite telescopes that we have, go and look this thing up, is our First Scope series. It is a little tabletop telescope, uh, very small, very portable. Uh, I have one upstairs, I should have grabbed it. Um, this is the telescope that I take out if I, hey, I just wanna show somebody the moon because hey, it looks pretty tonight. I can grab that in two seconds and, and, and have amazing visual experience. So. There's no perfect answer for a beginner telescope, uh, but we have choices in a giant spectrum of price ranges that will achieve any goal that you're looking for. But what's most important is get a telescope and get out there and start looking at the night sky. Uh, please continue to send these questions. Hashtag Dear Celestron. Thanks, everybody.